They um, swim up to 100 miles a day. Out in the wild. Correct, in the wild. Captivity, they just do laps around a pool. Trying to get the young orca in the stretcher, and the whole fam damly is out here 25 yards away, maybe, in a, in a big line, and they're communicating back and forth. This is the worst thing that I've ever done. Is out that wheel. to see World Orlando, Tillicum and two female killer whales drowned a young trainer at a Canadian park. It was very difficult to see him in the tank he was in, which is in the back, even though almost the entire tank was visible to us because he wasn't moving. They were doing a massage session with him with the fire hose, which apparently is something they're, they're doing so that nobody touches him because he's, he's just too dangerous to get that close to. Because the whales in their pools die young, they like to say that all orcas die at 25 or 30 years. 25 to 35 years. 25 to 35 years. They're documented uh, in the wild, living to be about 35 or mid 30s. They tend to live a lot longer in this environment because they have all the veterinary care. And of course, that's false. Uh, we knew by 1980, after a half a dozen years of the research, that they live equivalent to human lifespans. 25% of whales have a fin that, that turns over like that as they get older. Dorsal collapse happens in less than 1% of, of wild killer whales. We know this. All of the captive males, 100%, have collapsed dorsal fins. 